Good afternoon. I'm misrepresentative of the light candles give off the Digonia pen. And these are my adventures, not through a white school. Hi, I'm back from vacation now, and I'm ready for a brand new summer of fun, non-art school related goodness. But first, let's talk about me. Fortunately, as I'm sure you can hear, I have seem to have fallen ill, or to the whims of allergies, or something like that. <coughs> <coughs> That's right. I'm sick. But that's okay. Uh, really, before I had this sore throat in the back of my throat, which is why it was a sore throat, um, but now I only have hollow sinuses, which just make me sound weird. It doesn't Does actually mean anything to anything for my health. Don't worry about me, I'm taking vitamin C and echinacea and garlic and... Well, before you know it, this whole sickness thing, it'll, it'll all be over and we'll laugh about it and it, it'll be a joke. A joke like we used to have, like like in the old days where, where people would tell jokes and, and they'd be funny and, and we'd laugh at them. You know, those days. Those days of jokes. Of funny jokes. Yeah, I miss those days too. <sighs> but those days have gone. And now people don't tell funny jokes anymore. Now people just tell mean, mean jokes. <coughs> uh, but hey, enough with the sadness, huh? Let's move on to more happy things like, gee, I don't know, what are we going to be doing now that the wild adventures of our school are over? Well. I know one thing that we'll be doing, and we're going to visit it right now. Tracy McKnightly Hour! Hello. Welcome to the Tracy McKnightly Hour. What exactly is the Tracy McKnightly Hour, and what exactly is Tracy McKnightly? That's what this first little part will be all about. Let me put down this candle, okay? Well, the, uh, first, what exactly is Tracy McKnightley? Uh, Tracy McKnightley is, well, a detective, and, well, it's a short film I'm going to be shooting this summer. Uh, so, that'll be fun, right? We'll see. Maybe not, maybe so. I certainly do not know. Um... So, yeah, as of right now, we're in the pre-production stages. I am uh, finishing writing the script. I have what could be the final draft right now, what might be changed. Who knows? You want a plot synopsis? Well, too bad, because you're not getting one. Uh, <coughs> 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 ah. Well... Uh, so, yeah, that about uh, wraps up where I am for today, uh, or at least for Tracy McKnightley. I am finishing writing the script. So, thank you for joining me for the Tracy McKnightley Hour. Join Tracy me next time. Hour. Well, 
Enough of this casual chit-chat. How's about we get on to the meat of this thing? How's about we get on to me showing you how to draw something very special? Okay? Okay. <coughs> uh, this table is kind of dusty, so let's go ahead and try something out. Yeah, you can. Alright, fantastic. So I'll just uh, show you how to draw something on this table. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw... The Ebola virus. Uh, <coughs> uh, so, uh, for the Ebola virus, you uh, you actually start off with an oval. Like this right here, like a nice little oval. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a good oval. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then, th this is the body of your virus. Uh -huh. So now you just draw a little tentacly legs, googly googly googly. All right. Uh, now, I'm gonna draw rectangles. Rectangle. Rectangle. Do a little bitty tiny rectangle right there uh, for the little pieces of ick floating inside of the body. And then you can also draw some dots, some squiggles. Uh, maybe give your Ebola virus some horns. Even though the Ebola virus doesn't have horns, but uh, you know. Hey, this is an artistic representation, you know? I mean, th things change like that. Alright. And, uh, well, there you have it. There's the Ebola virus. And for all of you out there who say that, who, who says that the, uh, the Ebola virus doesn't look like how I drew it, that the Ebola virus is a bunch of little more meat. Oh, shit. Uh. That the Ebola virus is just a bunch of little wormy tube things. Well, you're wrong. Well, you're dead wrong. <coughs> uh, well, that's about all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll see you next Friday, where we'll have all sort of other fun, fun things to do. Uh, maybe I won't be sick and maybe my neck won't be pressed against the table so I won't sound like Nixon. Brrr. Uh, but I'll see you next week and it'll be fun and, uh, uh what am I doing with my life? Bidu